guys, this is Serena Sane and and today we have a magic tree house that I told you last time. And we have Shadow of the Shark. So that's the Jack and that's the Annie. I'll I'll tell I'll tell you after. And we have a bottle of the blue John. And this is a Marlin mission box. So they have Marlin and a mission. So these are little books, but other ones, if they're not Marla missions, they're soft because this one is hard, of course, you can see. So I'll tell you these are, the main characters are Jack and Annie. I'll show you the prologue. Prologue. Okay, and today we have a little toy. We have Minion and the Pikachu series of Pokemon. So, prologue. One summer day in Frog Creek, Pen Pennsylvania, a mysterious treehouse appeared in the woods. It was filled with books. A boy named Jack and his sister Annie found a treehouse and soon discovered that it was magic. They could go to any time and place in history just by pointing to a picture in one of the books. While they were gone, no time at all passed back in Frog Creek. Treehouse belonged to Morgan Lay Fay, a magical vibrium from the legendary realm of Camelot. They have since traveled on many adventures in the Magic Treehouse and completed many missions for both Morgan Lou Faye and her friend Marlin the Magician. Teddy and Kathleen, two young enchanters from Camelot, have sometimes helped Jack and Annie in both big and small ways. Jack and Annie are about to find out what their next Magic Treehouse mission will be. So they have like a Magic Treehouse. So that's cool. So this time, okay, I'll read you something here. Brother and sister Jack and Annie always go on important missions in the magic treehouse, but this time they must save an entire town. The town in Nome, Alaska, and the year is 1925. Many children and grown-ups are sick and dying. The medicine that will save them is coming from uh, Anchorage. A thousand miles away. More than half of the journey must be made by dog sled over the snowy wilderness. Dog sledding teams are on the way when a blizzard hits. It's up to Jack and Annie to find a lost team led by the famous sled dog Balto. The Balto of the Blue John. So I think he is the Balto. Can Jack and Annie survive the freezing cold? Can they drive a dog sled, dog sled with no experience? I think that's the right word. <laughs> and can they find Balto in a huge snowstorm? Author Mary Pope Osborne brings history to life in this heartwarming and thrilling story about one of the world's most famous dogs. So they all have histories. So this one is fun too. Anyway, that was the Ball of the Blue Dawn. Let's read this one, Sharks, about it. This one, I borrowed it from my English Academy. When Teddy, the young sorcerer, offers to send Jack and Annie on an amazing vacation because they've worked hard for the magic tree of for Marlin and Morgan, to the coast of Mexico, they can't wait to go. And with three magic, magic, magical coins to help them have a wonderful time, this is one trip that can't go wrong, right? Everything sur starts out perfectly as Jack and Annie paddle a raft out to a coral reef. But then a hungry shark attacks and their dream vacation turns into a nightmare. Can Jack and Annie can get back to the treehouse? Will there be more sharks? Or is there another scary surprise that awes them? Mary Pope Osborne brings her trademark 
combination of uh, adventure, history, and armor uh, in this last edi- to edition to the best-selling Magic Treehouse series. So maybe the prologue is the maybe. That's the same prologue. So let's open the toys now. Toy time! Yay! So we have this little capsule. It has to be mystery. You don't know what it is. Oh, you know it's pick. Uh, you know this one is mi- minion, but you don't know what kind of minion it is. So let's see. This capsule opens like that. Ooh. Let's see. I don't know what it is. You can just see the back of it, maybe a little bit. So I think this is a checklist. So that is the checklist. So you can get a Pikachu with a cap. And Pikachu is like fighting a little bit. Maybe it looks like. And Pikachu holding a peach or something. And Pikachu seeing something and he's like, oh, it's pretty. <laughs> and Pikachu is thinking and Pikachu is sleeping. So, that's, and the back is the boring part. So, I really most like to get sleeping one, or thinking one, or pretty one, the thinking pretty one, or the fighting one. I would like to get everybody. They're cute. Let's see. Hey, we have the holding peach or something one. (laughs) Peach or something. (laughs) He's really cute. He's a hello, hello, hello. Nice to meet you, lady buddy. <laughs> He's really cute. So he comes with a little blind bag. Actually, it's not blinded. Anyway, Pikachu. There we go. And let's see. We have this little minion. Minion is cool. Maybe I should bring the camera. Maybe no. We have this little minion. I don't know what his his name is. Maybe I should bring the camera. So, right over here. That was a chair. Anyway, we have this little minion. He's really cool. Now look at his hair. It's really cool. So he has a texture on his hair. Cool. I I don't have any idea what his name is. Anyway, I guess I have to show you like this, I think. I want to show you guys like this. Because it's fun, of course. And you can see those two books. Maybe I should turn these into here. So there's no dad yet today. I'm filming myself. So it's a little bit hard because there was no daddy. Daddy is in his work. Maybe I should film these after. So... I think my favorite was Pikachu because this this is the this is the first Pikachu we I have ever had, and my friend has a Pikachu and he is so cute so I wanted, but today my daddy boom oh I mean my mommy boom bought it for me. It's the first Pikachu um, figure for me, but I have a Pikachu plush. Anyway, what was your favorite? Do you, did you like the books or the toys? Leave me a comment down below so I know what was your favorite. Bye-bye.